The world's largest Viking ship built in the modern era is docked at Toronto's harbour this weekend. The ship set sail from Norway in April, and the crew of about 30 people from around the world aimed to recreate the Viking discovery of the New World. They've crossed the Atlantic, making stops in Iceland, Greenland, and the Maritimes. Einar Gudmundsson is on that ship, and he joins the team. Uh, he joined the team when they were stopped off in Quebec, and as luck would have it, he's from Iceland and a big soccer fan, and in fact, he just might be the most authentic Iceland fan in town right now. So we've reached him in Toronto at the harbour front, uh, where he's on that Viking ship, which I'm going to try and pronounce for you, Einar. I believe it's Drakken Harald Hografr. How's that? Very close, very close. Oh, man, tough. Go away. <laughs> okay, so, Einar, before we get into today's game, first of all, tell us why you joined the crew of this vessel. Well, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I, uh, uh, you know, being from Iceland, I've, I've learned about the science of the uh, Leif Erikson coming to, to Greenland, to America. And so I definitely wanted to try to be a part of this. And uh, I did apply back in uh, January when they were looking for volunteers, but uh, 4,000 people applied. So uh, I got the thanks, but no thanks. Uh, however, since I got a chance to come in uh, Quebec, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist the opportunity. So I, I jumped, uh, jumped on board. Oh, 4,000 people. Okay, so help us understand, because I, uh, my understanding is that you're trying to live as authentically as possible while you're on the vessel. Can you help us get a sense of what that means to live like an authentic Viking? Yeah. It, um, well, we do, we do um, emphasize the um, fact that this is a ship, you know, we emphasize the shipbuilding, how the Vikings created the, built the ships and sailed them across the ocean. So a lot of the uh, authentic lifestyles is, uh, is not the focus. However, we do have uh, we do have uh, the accommodations, some accommodations that kind of a little bit better than the Vikings had, uh, but still, it's, uh, it's close, uh, very closeness in community. We, we, we sleep very close together and uh, live uh, uh, up, up the board, uh, together, kind of like the Vikings did. So it's uh, uh, definitely not for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're having your Viking experience, but there's a whole set of other Vikings in France right now. They're going to try and win that very critical game against France. While you've been on the ship, yeah. how have you been able to watch any of the games? I uh, I was able to uh, stream stream last game against England. We were uh, a few of us watching together, and uh, yeah, so uh, thankfully we were we were on St Lawrence River, so I was able to get uh, connection. Uh, if we go on the open water, I might miss it, but but uh, I was able to watch the game and see Iceland uh, beat the, the mighty English. Well, you know, a lot of us have just recently become big fans of the Icelandic uh, soccer team, but I understand you've been a fan your whole life. How does it feel to see how well they're doing at the Euro 2016? Well, I mean, this is this is this is just amazing. Uh, Iceland is so so small. We're so few of us. Only 330,000 people. So to, to to get on the greatest stage in Europe and, and, and have these kind of results is absolutely it's a dream come true. So uh, I wish they just live in a dream. If we lose, yeah, we're going to get disappointed, but still so happy that we have made it this far. However. We're uh, Icelanders, and, and we believe that we're gonna we're gonna do it. So uh, we're going we're going all the way. That's, that's our, our our belief. Is the rest of the crew on side with you, or is there going to be mutiny on that ship? Oh no 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 no! There's uh, there's one one French person that I, I think I've converted her to be an Iceland fan. So <laughs> <laughs> everybody everybody's on board. Everybody's gonna root for uh, for the uh, for the little, little nation in the north. Okay, and before I let you go, give me your prediction for today's game. How do you think it's gonna go down? I, th I think Iceland is going to win it 2-1 in overtime. You think it's going to go into overtime? Then penalty kicks or what? No, no penalty kicks. Uh, no, no, no. We'll take it before that. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, we'll wait and see. But before I let you go, uh, I understand you're going to do the cheer for us. I yeah. want it authentic. I want it Viking. I want it Icelandic. <laughs> well, I, I, I recruited my guys uh, to help me out. So, uh, we're going to win the game, guys. Yeah. Oh, from Iceland. <laughs> okay, Island. here we go. We'll see how the game goes. Thank you so much, Einar. All right, thank you. Iceland fan and Viking ship crew member Einar Gudmundsen at the Toronto Harbour.